to business with the Barclays League to renew the push for a playoff place. We kick off this month by joining the team at Vicarage Road on the 13th of December for the away match with Watford. Our commentator for the match is Steve Dixon. So it's Watford against Charlton from Vicarage Road and there the Charlton lineup showing just one change from the side that beat Portsmouth at the Valley last week in that historic and memorable occasion. Alan Pardew coming into the Charlton lineup at number 10. He replaces Gary Nelson who is suspended for two games after being sent off at Wolves a couple of weeks ago. And in the Watford side there are a couple of changes as well. We see Roger Willis coming back in at number 6 for Watford, the former Barnet player and also at number 10, Ken Charlery comes back to partner the man in your picture. That's the Watford leading goal scorer, Paul Furlong. 12 goals this season for Furlong, and he's partnered up front today by Ken Charlery, Watford's recent £350,000 signing from Peterborough. So it will be the home side kicking from right to left to start us off this afternoon, wearing yellow shirts, red shorts and red socks. Charlton in their new change colours of plain blue shirts, black shorts, and black socks. This is Laban cutting inside Walsh. Webster got the header away and now Leeburn and Pardew sweeps it out towards John Robinson. He's away from Dublin and Steve Grip is on the overlap and Steve Grip is in a lot of space on this right hand side. He's got the cross in, Lee Power at the near post and Carl Lieburn was coming in at the far post and I think possibly he's been penalised for pushing on Gerard Lavin at the far post but Lee Power coming very close there to getting ahead to the ball. Steve Britt got down the right hand side, he whipped the ball in low and you can see just how close Power was to getting a touch and Lieburn couldn't convert at the far post. Drysdale's free kick, this is Putney. Out it goes to Lavin. He swept the ball in and Webster had to concede the corner at the far post for Charlton captain. Pitcher. And now Minto. Finds Walsh. Minto sends it forward. And Watford give it away. And now Minto. Minto in some space. He's fine. A good pass through to Lee Power, and there's a chance for Robinson, and Charlton have the lead. 26 minutes of the first half gone, and the Charlton fans celebrate John Robinson's second goal for the club. Lee Power in a lot of space there, and the ball across the face of the goal was easy meat for John Robinson. Minto played the ball through to Lee Power. And well, you can decide for yourself whether that was a shot or a cross, but either way, Robinson converted for Charlton. It's Watford nil, Charlton one. Minto brings it away. And there goes Gritz on that far side. This should be easy for Suckling. Drysdale. And now Darren Pitcher picking it up. 30 yards from goal. He's got the shot in and Perry Suckling got down to his right to just push that ball away. Putney runs over it. And Putney gets it back. There's room for a shot here. And the save from Bob Boulder. Concedes the corner. Here's Lee Nogan, linking well with Hessenthaler. Nogan gets it back again. And Nogan still in possession. And now Hessenthaler with the cross. And Willis is there at the far post. And now there's a chance for Charlery. And Watford are level. Ken Charlery's third goal since his big money transfer from Peterborough. And Bob Boulder will be none too pleased with his part in that goal. He looked to have got his hands on the ball as the header came in from Willis. But somehow, 
he couldn't quite grasp the ball and Charlery put it in from close range. Charlery wins it back. And now Watford on the attack. There goes Furlong. Furlong's in here. And he's hit the side netting. Lee Power running at Dublin. He's got the crossover. Lee Byrne. Oh, it's off the bar. And wide. David Holdsworth puts it wide for a corner. The Watford skipper. But Carl Leeburn got up and hit the bar as a super cross coming in from Lee Power there. And Leeburn's header came back off the bar. And Charlton are denied. Drysdale and Putney over the ball. Drysdale in at the near post. And he very nearly caught Charlton out there. Bob Boulder, fortunately, was very alert. But Drysdale clipped this ball in at the near post and Boulder had to make a good save. Now is there time for one last attack from Charlton? There isn't, because referee Keith Cooper blows the final whistle. It's finished here at Vicarage Road. Watford won, Charlton won, so Charlton stay unbeaten after that game against Portsmouth at the Valley last week. Meanwhile.